This is Mike Seidel. Look at what we've got here on the boardwalk in Long Beach, New York. The wind whipping, gusting 30 to 35 miles an hour. Some very heavy rain now coming right at me, stinging. And looking down the boardwalk, you can see the sheets of rain. This is what we're going to be in now for a few hours, but it's a quick moving system. Take a look at the radar. You can see the reds and oranges overspreading Nassau County, the tri state area. We do have a flash flood watch uh, for parts of northwest Jersey, some of the counties outside of uh, Manhattan. But look at where the back edge is. It's already now moving up through South Jersey, Cape May. So give it to about 9 to 10 o'clock tonight, and this back edge will whip through. We will be done with the rain, but we won't be done with the wind. In fact, the strongest winds in this area will likely occur tomorrow, later tonight and tomorrow, as the storm goes up and the pressure falls rapidly, maybe uh, officially bombogenesis, 24 millibars in 24 hours. The wind field will expand. It's going to be a west wind across those runways, Alex, and the delays tomorrow will be extensive at all the major northeast airports. I don't think there's going to be a lot of cancellations, but the concern is wind, not rain. Visibility will be fine, but those gusty winds will play havoc with your flights in and out of the northeast and even the airports down around D.C. and Baltimore as the rain just whips right at us here on Long Beach. Yeah, you know, you've given us some perspective. What's it like temperature-wise out there? If somebody's thinking, hey, I, I was thinking of running over to the grocery store, grabbing a frozen pizza, what's it actually going to feel like when you're out there? Well, it, it's not very cold by any means. It's in the low 60s, which is, you know, that's, that's not bad. Yeah. The water temp, which is helping us because the wind's coming off the water, uh, is also in the low 60s. Uh, this is a very mild rain, but again, you got to dress for it. And I've got some layers on just to try to stay dry because when you get wet, whether it's 62 or 42, you can get chilled. But it's a mild evening. Tomorrow, though, will be cooler. Upper 50s with some sunshine, but those winds tomorrow will be blowing west, so they'll be blowing down the numbered streets from the Hudson to the East River in Manhattan. It's going to be very, very gusty, and that's why it's a slam dunk for long uh, delays at these airports in this area. Yeah, could even see some trouble now. Micah, you guys gusting just over 30 miles an hour. JFK now also gusting over 30 miles an hour. Yeah, indeed, and again, the gust later tonight north of here as the storm deepens will be stronger thus the high wind warning kicking in at 10 p.m. for Cape Cod the islands uh, Plymouth the south coast up around Gloucester and a wind advisory for the Boston area and you know what I need right now Alex I need some wipers I need you some do. wipers on these uh, on these uh, glasses yeah also, there you go I feel like the volume <laughs> it's because really it's, coming down right now and it's not often that we can really hear the ocean behind you or the wind but you can really hear everything just within the last, say, 15 minutes of your shot. Yeah, it's picked up. We're in the meat of it right now. And as I said, thank goodness it's moving very quickly. Last week's nor'easter hovered off the coast for about two days. And it wasn't so much the rain. That was just the continued onshore flow. And the beaches from here, especially the Jersey Shore, Maryland, and Delaware, had significant beach erosion. We had flooding in the inland rivers on the east side of the bay. Uh, so you had all kinds of flooding issues. This is a quick hitter. The wind's parallel to the Jersey Shore. So that takes really the Jersey Shore out of the equation for erosion and coastal flooding. It's only on these south-facing beaches, Queens, Long Island, uh, coastal Connecticut, and uh, up through uh, coastal Rhode Island and Massachusetts where the wind's coming in from the south and southeast. But again, quickly, a round of the northwest here late this evening after midnight in New England uh, or in southern New England, and then it's all about the gusty wind tomorrow and uh, flight delays. That'll be the main impact tomorrow. Or if you have a high-profile vehicle, say, going down the Jersey Turn, like that wind's going to be blowing perpendicular and that will push you from one side of the road to the other if you're in a say in a big truck quick question for you that ice cream stand that garbage can next to it are those tied down or are we going to be worried about those going down the boardwalk good question let me see uh-oh oh no well that answers that question yeah but they they um they haven't moved because the wind's coming like this, they're getting pushed against the rail over here. But yeah, uh, I'm looking at that when you put it up here, boy, you can you. really feel the wind. Oh yeah. Yeah. So carry uh, you away. Get that right down. That's, I guess to this your is, right. This has got some trash in it, so it's fine. Wow, it is. This is. Uh, 
This is uh, pretty nasty tonight. I'm, it I'm is. thankful it's not 40 degrees. Hey, and that it's makes 62. it a little bit better. Yeah, it's, you know, it's Mike not was, numbing cold. Mike Bettis was yeah. out there in the 50s with the rain, and he said, you know, just that change in about 10 degrees can make it awfully uncomfortable. Mike Seidel, thank you so much. Uh, dry off for a moment. We'll check back in with him. Uh, Mike, he said it, low 60s, at least, uh, you know, not really chilly. Yeah.